a builder is hired to add a deck onto the existing house as shown in the diagram okay so let me use this color so this is a house and a deck has to be added to this so the length to be added is x and the width is y and this much is going to be 3 and uh, this is 5 meters okay it's very clear so deck is to be enclosed by a guard rail on all sides where the deck attaches except where the except where the deck attaches to the house so you want to you don't want the railing here okay so this is what we we don't want here so we want the railing here this part this part this part and this part okay now what's the limitation the builder has enough material to build exactly 18 meter of rail guards so that's a restriction derive an expression for the area of the deck in terms of x or y and find the values of x and y that will give you the maximum possible area so we want to maximize the area and the restriction is we have 18 meters of guard rail so let's write say length of l for the length of guard rail so the total length that we have is 18 meters okay so well we can say uh, so this is so we can say well that has to be x plus how much is this well this is this is phi and this is y so this has to be y plus phi okay this is y plus phi so this is x and this much is 3 this much is 3 so this has to be x plus 3 okay so well x plus x plus 3 they, they are the two opposite sides so this is x plus x plus 3 and then you got y plus y plus phi so I can say plus y plus y plus phi is equal to 80 that's the restriction so simplifying this so this is 2x plus 2y plus 8 is equal to 18 now taking away 8 from both sides I can say 2x plus 2y is equal to 10 so well dividing the whole whole thing by 2 so I can say x plus y is equal to 5 so the relation so we have got an equation of x and y and we know x plus y is 5 okay so what will be the area of the deck so a for area and we want to maximize it so area would be uh, so let me say let me use a different color so I'm going to split this into say this part so this is say, a1 and this is a2 so I can say well a or the total area so a would be a1 plus a2 that's very clear so if I find the area of A1 plus A2 will give you the A. So A, so A1, how much is A1? Well, this is length, length times width, which is say x plus y is the length times the width, which is y. Okay, plus what is A2? The, the length is x and the width is 5, so that is 5x. So now we want to write area in terms of x or y. So let's write a as a function of x. So this implies, if you make y the subject, I can I write y is equal to 5 minus x. So my purpose is to write area as a function of one unknown. So I'll write like this, a of x. So a area as a function of x would be x plus 5, x plus x plus 3 okay so this is x plus 3 times y what is y y is 5 minus x plus 5x so this I can write as a function of x so a as a function of x would become what so let's expand this out 
So this is x times 5 is 5x plus then uh, x times minus x is minus x squared plus 15 minus 3x plus 5x. I'm just expanding and so just expanding this out. So a as a function of x would become, if you simplify this, this is minus x squared. Then you got 5x plus 5x is 10x. Then take away 3x is plus 7x plus 15. So area as a function of x is x squared minus 5x plus 15. So area as a function of x is minus x squared plus 7x plus 15. So let's understand this graphically and then we'll do the calculus. So, so if, you, if you graph this, this is an upside down parabola. So I can say the graph would look somewhat like this. Okay, so this I know the y-intercept is y. That's all I need to know. Okay, and there is a point somewhere here. Okay, and there, so this is the area as a function of x. On y-axis we are taking a of x, and on x-axis we are taking x. So at this point, we know the gradient is 0. At this point, you can say a dash x, or the, the, the gradient of the function should be 0. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to differentiate it set it equal to 0 and find the value of x which will give me the minimum area. So just to get the answer without differentiation let me get the calculator out and type in go to graph and type in the function minus x squared plus what is the answer minus 5x plus 7x plus 7x plus oops plus 7x plus 5 and then draw it okay so let me change the scales so and make it uh, standard and see what happens okay so let me scroll up so this is the maximum that's what I'm saying so if you go GSOL maximum at 3.5 you have the maximum area of 17.25 so you already know the answer so now let's go backwards so, so a dash x differentiating uh, this function in terms of x would be minus 2x plus 7. Now I want to find the maximum, so I'm going to set that equal to 0. So minus 2x is equal to minus 7. So we can say 2x is equal to 7. So when x is 3.5, x is 3.5 meters, you get the maximum area. So this is 3.5. So at 3.5, you get the maximum area. But we already know x plus y is phi. We already know x plus phi is, x plus y is phi. So y has to be 1.5 meters. y has to 1.5 meters. So what we are saying is, make this 3.5 meters and make this 1.5 meters and then if you put what was the length equation we know x plus y is going to be uh, if you know 2x plus 2y was 10 so x plus y is 5 so so now to find the area maximum possible area so let me use a different color so area as a function of x is given by this function which is minus x squared plus 7x plus 5 and then of course you can do it by putting just substituting x into this so that would be 17.25 you can just use a calculator 17.25 meters squared okay so get the maximum area so this area this is 17.25 